Hello students, welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nand Kyolir and in this session we are going to talk about the Haley Guppy volcanic eruption. Because this volcano erupted after nearly 12,000 years. So this becomes very important, very relevant for our examination. So we will see where this eruption took place and what were the possible reasons behind its eruption. So the Haley Guppy eruption took place in Ethiopia. And this volcano erupted after nearly 12,000 years, which is a very long time. So, after staying dormant for nearly 12,000 years, Haley Gumbi volcano erupted. And while lava did not come out of it, but a lot of volcanic ash, gases, plume came out of this eruption. And this volcanic ash has traveled long distances and it has even reached India. So, this is posing a challenge to India at the moment. While this volcanic ash is not posing any direct risk to humans. Why? Because this is traveling at a very high altitude. Because it is traveling at a very high altitude, it is not posing any direct challenge to humans. But it is posing a challenge to our aeroplanes to the airspace and that is why a lot of flights had to be cancelled because of the hazy surroundings hazy situations that were created out of this volcanic eruption volcanic ash that was coming out of the volcanic eruption this is something that the indian airspace is dealing with at the moment now before we proceed to understand the possible reasons behind this eruption, as a homework I want you to look at the different types of volcanoes based on their frequency of eruption, based on their nature of eruption. Please go and revise the volcanoes that we have. Now let's look at the possible reasons behind the eruption. So there are many reasons, we'll discuss a few of them. The first one is that the volcano sits in a very special tectonic zone. Which tectonic zone? The Afar Trijunction. So, the Afar Trijunction is a unique tectonic zone. It is a divergent plate boundary because here three plates are pulling apart from each other. They are moving away from each other. And those three plates are first is your African plate, African plate or the Nubian plate. Then you have the Somalian plate and the Arabian plate. So these three plates are pulling apart from each other. So the earth's crust above this is becoming thin and then it gets easier for the magma to come to basically vent up and break that crust and move out in the form of lava. So this is also one of the possible reasons that because this volcano sits at the Afar Tri Junction, this is also a possible reason behind its eruption. And not just the Tri Junction, this also is located at the Afar Hotspot. That's why it's a unique area. So, hotspots basically are areas of extra heat within the Earth's crust. So, there's extra heat, extra magma supply because they're extremely hot regions within the Earth's crust and a magma plume is created. This magma plume carries the magma from the interior of the Earth to the Earth's crust. So, the Afar Trijunction or the Haley Gubbi volcano that basically sits at the Afar Trijunction as well as the Afar hotspot. Hotspots basically mostly are located away from the plates, different plate boundaries. But in this case, in the case of Afar, it is not located away from the plate boundary. It is located near the divergent plate boundary. So, this adds on to the heat and pressure conditions within the earth's crust because it is a tri-junction and it is a hot spot so more and more heat is being produced the magma is being heated quickly and a lot of pressure is also being built that is why this could be one of the possible reasons behind the eruption of Haley Kapi. next the east african rift valley 
is also present very close to the rift valley is basically breaking the African continent into two parts and this also is creating a divergent boundary again the earth's crust is becoming thin and here Haley Gubbi is also located in proximity to the East African rift valley that is why it gets easier for the magma within to come out and erupt. Then the magma slowly built up beneath the volcano for thousands of years. It stayed dormant for nearly 12,000 year, 12, years and during that time the magma kept on building. And then fresh and hotter magma also entered the already existing magma chamber. Magma chamber already had that old magma and now newer magma, fresher magma also started coming in from the interior of the earth's crust. And then gas bubbles formed and expanded increasing the pressure and small earthquakes also because this is a plate boundary small earthquakes also are expected to have happened and that would have also increased the pressure in that area the tectonic activity in that area and that in turn could have led to this volcanic eruption so there are different reasons behind this and a lot of things could have happened but basically all these things combined could have led to the eruption of this volcano after nearly thousands of years so this tells us that even if a volcano is dormant for many many years it can still turn into an active volcano if the conditions are right if the geographical conditions the geological conditions are right it can turn into an active volcano and that is what happened in the case of Haley Guppy as well so that was all for this video please go back and revise volcanoes for your examination I hope you enjoyed the discussion now let's practice a question for prelims Consider the following statements regarding the recent eruption of Ethiopia's Haley Guppy volcano. 1. The eruption is expected to have been triggered by the intrusion of fresh, hotter magma into an older magma chamber. 2. Small earthquakes in the region may have helped open new pathways for magma to rise to the surface. 3. The formation and expansion of gas bubbles inside the magma contributed to a rapid buildup of internal pressure. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. Please provide your answers in the comment section and we will meet in a new video. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.